Alrighty, folks. Sad video to make today. This is one that I don't really feel like making. You know what I mean? I don't want to say a bunch of cliches there, but last night we lost one of the good ones, Scott All. You know what I mean? Um, there's lots of wrestlers that come and go over the years. You know what I mean? But Scott Hall was a real key player, you know what I mean? When I was a kid in WWF, Razor Ramon, you know, the match with Shawn Michaels, the big match against the Lightning Kid, Razor put him over and he became 1-2-3 Kid, you know, there's all kind of stuff there. Eventually, he goes to WCW, you know, and he was the coolest fucking guy, you know, during that time. Um, without Scott Hall, the NWO wouldn't have been the same, right? And without the NWO, you don't have the Attitude Era and stuff. Scott Hall, all the cool imagery there of, you know, of the NWO, it was him, you know what I mean? The entrance, all of the cool stuff, you know what I mean? Like Hogan said, his career was done and Scott Hall resurrected him, you know what I mean? Hogan was the star of the group there, but Scott Hall, he made the group cool. You know what I mean? He started the group, you know, and they worked well with each other, and it was just perfect. The NWO, you know what I mean? Very good shit, legit good stuff. You know, we had Scott Hall later on, Back in WWE and TNA shoot interviews or whatever. I never seen anything from Scott Hall that was boring. You know what I mean? Never seen anything that I didn't like. Every match was fun. He had the coolest looking punch in wrestling. You know, he would get the guys in the corner, the, the punch... The Razor's Edge, a crisp, hard-hitting Razor's Edge, you know what I mean? The guy was just cool, great talker, great wrestler. Everything about him was just cool and awesome, you know what I mean? He had troubles in life, you know, the drugs, the alcohol, stuff like that. He had his personal demons which kind of took over his reputation there but it you know after that he was you know fixing his demons and working out with ddp and stuff and helping young wrestlers stuff like this um you know a very entertaining guy it sucks that he he had to pass away early, you know what I mean? He definitely could have done, you know, manager stuff and wrestling and all of that there. Could have been a world champ. Apparently, he didn't want to be the champ, but he's definitely a guy that should have been a world champion. But him, I don't think he cared about that, judging by his shoot interviews. He saw that as, like, Mark stuff, being a world champ and all of this there. But everything he did in wrestling mattered. And if you don't like Scott Hall, then you're not a wrestling fan. I'm sorry there. <laughs> you know, that's what wrestling was. Scott Hall, you know, big <clears throat> guy with character and funny, he's not trying to be funny, he's just cool and funny, natural, you know what I mean, just a real star in wrestling, and they don't make them like that anymore, midgets, the, 
flip and all of this, none of them will ever compare to a real star like Scott Hall. Guys like that, it's like they were meant to be wrestlers, you know, the charisma and everything. Like, they don't make them like that anymore there. And we lost one of one of the best, you know what I mean? A, a big one there, Scott All. You know, when he then left and Savage left, that shit hurt inside, you know. And yesterday I was looking at clips of him and I felt sad, you know. I I could have did the vid yesterday. I wanted to wait there. I, I didn't want to look like I'm trying to get views off of his death or whatever. I didn't want to do a bunch of updates. He's on life support. All oh, breaking news. He's off of life support or whatever. I just didn't want to do that there. I wanted to wait until he was deceased to, to respectfully just make one vid, not cash in on his, his death like the news sites are doing their vid after vid about it there, but like, you know, it sucks, you know what I mean? It sucks, and um, I'm going to watch some of his matches, watch a bunch of his stuff, whatever I can find on YouTube there. I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to play the video game there. I'm going to unlock Scott All, boy. That's going to be the next one I unlock. And I'm going to make him fight Roman Reigns for the title there. Is he going to win? Who knows? It's in the hands of the game, folks, but, um, you know, definitely a top elite wrestler, a real elite showman, character man in wrestling. Like, Hogan said it, like, you know, Scott Hall showed me how to be a bad guy or whatever, you know what I mean? AWA, they wanted to push him as the next Hogan, and he didn't want the belt because he, he thought the, the territory was finished or whatever. He could have been a world champ, but he didn't want it. But he was definitely a world champ material for sure there. So it sucks, folks. We, we lost uh, a real star, a real player there. So. Uh, the more we grow up, the more we get old, the more of them are going to pass away there. So it's part of life. It sucks, but it is what it is. Until next time, peace. Rest in peace to one of the great ones there who inspired not just, you know, people like The Rock, stuff like this. They all took pieces of Scott Hall, you know what I mean? The, the Rock, look at his punches, it's obvious he copied Scott Hall, you know what I mean? Or tried to, anyway, there, but... So, yeah, we lost a, a real player there, and it's sad. Until next time, peace!